What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video here, we're gonna be showing you how I have this clean minimal setup here happening on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is gonna look good on any iPhone, whether you have the new 14 Pro series or not. And this is actually pretty easy to do. It's not too difficult. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. So let's go ahead and get started. First two applications that you're gonna to wanna to head into the app store to download. Number one is going to be color widgets. This is the application that we're gonna to use to go ahead and grab the icon pack that we use in this video. Then the next application that you're gonna to wanna to download is called Top Widgets. Go into the App Store, download that, hit pause if you need to and come on back and let's go ahead and continue. So once you actually have those applications downloaded, let's go ahead and open up Color Widgets. And once you have this, click on icons right here and then pick whichever icon pack that you want. I decided to go with this black one here, super simple. First time trying out the app, wanted to just try something simple. Go ahead and hit save pack. And then from there, once you hit install, well, first off, you don't have to download all of these if you don't want to. You can deselect all and just search for the certain applications that you want. So if you want just Amazon, you can search for that and download it. I went ahead and selected it all because I might want to switch it up and I don't want to have to keep going through this process. But once you hit select all and install all, it's going to show you an ad probably. Get through that and then come on back here. Once you actually finish watching that ad, go ahead and open up your photos and make sure that you create an album inside of your photos app to where you can just store these icons so you can get to them a whole lot faster. So I actually went ahead and put mine inside of a folder right now for quick and easy access. So now that we have that out the way, let's go ahead and create our first icon. So let's go ahead and open up the shortcuts application. And once you have this open, make sure you hit on shortcuts here on the bottom left. I'm gonna go ahead and open up all the mods again. Hit the plus and we're gonna add an action on the next screen. So here where it says add action, tap on that. And in the search for apps and actions, go ahead and actually search for open app and tap on that. And then from here for the app, go ahead and tap on Amazon or whatever application that you want. From here, you see on the bottom uh, right here, this is like a share button on iOS, tap on that. And then we're gonna click add to home screen at the very bottom. And from here, you can go ahead and rename this whatever you want. I'm just gonna type in Amazon. And on the picture here on the left, tap on that. Go to choose photo and here navigate to that album where you saved those minimal icon packs. So here I just navigated to mine. Go ahead and swipe through and you should be able to find the icon pack that you went ahead and created. Uh, here's my Amazon one right here. So I'm gonna tap on it and hit choose. And then I'm gonna hit add. And then I'm gonna hit done and that's it. So now right here, as you can see, I have my Amazon app. And when you tap on it, it's gonna open up Amazon. So nice and easy, quick and simple to do. Not nearly as easy as on Android, but still very, very cool. So go ahead and do whatever applications it is that you want. I did one for notes, camera, maps, um, YouTube. Uh, one nice thing to kind of show you kind of a shortcut that you can do is gonna be once you create one, if you actually just tap and hold your finger on it, you can actually hit duplicate. And then when you tap on that, just go ahead and tap on the name of the app and then go ahead and switch it to anything else that you want it to be. So you can tap on Anchor if you want to. Tap the share button and then hit add to home screen. And from here, go ahead and change the name of it over and change your picture over. I'm gonna pick anything here. That looks like the target symbol, <laughs> but hit add. And that's it. So that's a very nice way to just quickly hit duplicate um, and then go ahead and quickly make another one. So once you make the applications that you want and you're satisfied with that, let's move on to the next part of the tutorial, which is going to be doing the widget. So hold down anywhere inside of a space and hit the plus. And we're actually going to be searching for top widgets. And I actually went with a small one. You go with, you go with uh, whatever one that you wanna use, but I actually like the smaller uh, widget here. That's why I set the Goku up right here with this picture. And once you tap on this, it's gonna open up the application for us. 
and once it loads um, go ahead and hit on whoops go ahead and hit on oh advertisement uh, go ahead and hit on photo and then tap on photo again and when you hit this gallery um, icon right here on the left it's going to open up your photo gallery and go ahead and navigate to whatever picture it is that you want to choose all right, so here I have my anime photos loaded up here. These are different kind of wallpapers. Pick whichever one that you want. If there's one that you want to be black and white, then make sure that you just make it black and white in your photos album before you choose it here. Once you choose the picture that you want, hit done. And then hit save. And there you go. Now, once you actually come back to your home screen here, long press on that widget and press edit widget. And then for the current widget, we're going to hit choose and then pick that photo that you actually just uh, selected here. And that's how you're going to get that picture here. Like I said, I went with a black and white Goku picture with him and Grandpa Gohan. <laughs> and then you pick whatever picture it is, though, that you want to use. So that's how I actually have my widget set up here and put that wherever you want. This, this widget here is just the calendar widget. Once you actually hold down in a blank space and hit the plus, tap on calendar. And see, that's how I got my calendar widget here. It's the same one there. And then when it comes to this one here at the top, this is from the app called Motivation. Go ahead and download this one if you like having uh, the Motivation app at the top. I like it, but you of course set up whatever widgets that you want. I will put a link for the Motivation app down below. It's a really cool application and it just shows you a lot of different, um, just cool quotes and they're motivational and Sometimes they're, they're just from different artists, different people in history, but I really, really love this application. So yeah, check this one out. I love the widget here. It's very easy to set up. And once you actually get this uh, app downloaded and you hold down in the space, hit the plus, you can just search for it. There's motivation. You can make it square or that one. You can make it the larger one. You know, pick whichever one it is that you want it to, you know, actually be here. So I went ahead and went with one of these here that has like more of a rectangular size. And that's the only thing I did. So that's how I have that set up. Now, probably the last thing I want to show you about all of this is if you, I don't know if it's going to start recording this, but if you actually look at the uh, home screen here, I actually have uh, here in order to fall asleep, you have to pretend to be asleep pretty much. Uh, so this here is another widget. And this one here is going to be called, um, I want to say it's called LMAO. And so I'll link that inside the description below. Very similar to the motivational app, except it sends you different jokes. So really like that one too. But the one key thing I want to show you is this one here, because this is an animated widget. So remember that application that we used earlier, the top widget, go ahead and open that one up again. And when you actually come to lock screen, you should be able to scroll down and you should see something called dynamic. So this is a really, really cool app here because it lets you make these. You can actually put a widget on the right and the left and pretty much have them interacting with each other, which is very cool. But the other thing that you can actually do is you can actually select the GIF. You can select the GIF and you can actually select it from your photo album or you can search for one. So if you actually hit more, you can search. So I'm going to type in pizza <clears throat> and I'm going to search for that. And so you can actually have a pizza, I mean, a pizza a GIF or GIF, whatever way you call it, right there on your lock screen if you want to. So I'm going to go ahead and select pizza here, hit preview, hit save. And there you go. So now when I come back to my lock screen, once you hold down, I don't know if it's going to do it because I'm recording this here. All right. So I'm going to hit customize. I'm going to tap here. And remember, I told you LMAO, that's one, but I want to get rid of that one. And then I want to go to top widgets. And I do want it to be this one here. Yeah, so once you actually get it here, um, hit select widget, and you should be able to pick which one that you have. I went ahead and just selected my dynamic three and hit set as wallpaper pair. 
and there you go so now you have now i have goku and i have my pizza and both of these are playing here so these are a couple cool tips and tricks here um definitely editing on iphone is very different from android but i can say i feel like as i continue to practice this i'm going to get a whole lot better videos will get better for you all home screens will get better for me and for y'all <laughs> for those who enjoy following and kind of learning how to do this kind of stuff so anyways i hope you all uh got something from this i hope you like this oh last thing the wallpaper so i'm actually going to link the wallpaper down below i did not create this wallpaper i found it online so i'm going to you know all credit to the original artist who actually made this wallpaper here but i will link that inside of the description below go ahead and save that and this wallpaper is the kind that when you set it as your uh, wallpaper it's actually going to hide the dock whenever it's on dark mode this particular one so this is how it looks like on light mode still looks pretty nice but when you put it on dark mode that's when the magic happens for sure especially with this kind of theme so i love how that really just completely hides that dock that wallpaper will be in the description below thanks for watching i hope you all learned something and i'll see you in the next video